it again. Hear that? This may sound silly and have no bearing on the case, but she's always playing with drums. Not toy drums, but native drums from the island of San Cristobal. She was born there. There are two white people there, her uncle and an overseer, and a couple of thousand blacks. A few days ago, I arranged my business so I could make this trip. I suggested it to her, but she would have no part of it. And that's why, at Dr. Linden's suggestion, I'm consulting you as a psychiatrist. Linden says there's not a thing wrong with her physically, though nervously, she's been in bad shape. She seems to be suffering a neurosis, as though there's something down there she's afraid of. Then why doesn't she want me with her? Something she doesn't want you to know. My advice is to let her face whatever it is by herself. And find it out in her own way? Exactly. I see. Thank you, Doctor. Not at all. Mind if I interrupt? Oh, Stephen. I thought you left for your office. Come on, honey. You run along. I want to talk to your mother. You go downstairs and help Anna pack. What do you think of that? All right. Huh? All right, that's a good girl. I thought I'd be a little late at the office this morning, since it's our last day together. Last day? An important day has come up, and I can't say with you in the morning. You don't know what this means to me. Ever since I left the island, I wanted to go back. Well, you go back and get it out of your system. When I come back, you won't know me. I'll be mild, placid, positively meek. Now, listen, don't change too much, because I love you the way you are. Oh, you darling. <laughs> Excuse us, please. What is it, Anna? I want to pet Nancy's dolls. Don't forget Gus. Oh, darling, you can't take the whole family. There's not room enough. Well, I promised Gus he could go. Well, that settles it. I'll take Gus down to Miss Hamilton and get a passport for... What is Gus, a him or a her? We haven't any sad yet, have we, Mums? No, darling. Well, it doesn't make any difference. I'll fix it so he'll go as a stowaway. What do you think of that? Oh, thanks, Daddy. Is that all? <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Daddy. You're welcome. Bye, darling. Bye, darling. Come on, Gus. <laughs> Here we go. Daddy, what's a passport? Well, a passport's something that you have to have before you can go somewhere. Nita. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, oh you haven't changed a bit. Oh, nor have you, except to grow up and get prettier. Oh. <laughs> How's everything at home? Oh, come, sit down. Tell me all about Uncle Raymond. Oh, he's well enough. In fact, he's planning on paying you a visit as soon as the island's quieted down. Quieted down? The voodoo drums are going. They started when the natives found out that you were coming back. For the first time in years, there was a sacrifice that night. Well, you don't mean to tell me that my coming here has anything to do with the voodoo drum. Your uncle sent me here to tell you he didn't want you coming back to the island again. Macklin, I can't stand it here any longer. It's cold. I'm only half alive. I'm sorry, my dear, but your uncle's orders. Orders? Who is he to give me orders? He's only the man who saved you from a living death. Those natives never thanked him for sending you away from the island. And they've never forgotten it. Neither have I. How can you say that? You have a fine husband, a beautiful child. She looks just as you did before that black woman, Ruva, got hold of you and filled you with the sound of the drums and the sight of blood poisoned you with a voodoo. Please, Macklin, don't you suppose I've fought against it year after year until it's driven me mad? I'm sorry, my dear, but your uncle sent me here to stop you coming at any cost. You can't stop me. I'll go when and where I please. Very well. Where are you going? To your husband with the whole story. Go to him. Tell him. 
Do anything you like. Because I'm going. I'm going home. The most practical wireless apparatus I've ever seen. I congratulate you, Mr. Chambers. Thank you, Mr. Lane. Uh, will you excuse me, please? Certainly. How are you? How you do? Everything all set? Everything. Tickets, passports, baggage tags. Oh, yes, and, uh, and seasick pills. <laughs> Glad you didn't forget the seasick pills. Well, I think you better go home and finish your own packing. Mr. Lane. Yes? Do you know anyone who needs a good secretary? Secretary? No, why? She's intelligent, not too bad looking, and uh, a swell liar. Not you. Yes, me. <laughs> you see, I'd rather not go on this trip. And if you don't mind, uh, I'm quitting. But you can't quit. I can't get along without you. Oh, yes, you can. Anyway, I'm afraid you'll have to, Mr. Lane. Do you want a raise? You can have it. No. Oh, I see. You're in love. How did you guess it? Who is he? What's he like? He's the most wonderful man in the world. Yeah, they all say that, but has he got a job? Yes, a good job. When's the wedding? No wedding. What's wrong? What's wrong with all the wonderful men? Just one little thing a girl keeps running into. They're married. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'm not going to live in sin. Partly because he hasn't asked me to. And partly because I'm not cut out for that sort of thing. And I doubt very much if I'll kill myself. So, I'm ducking. Can't you wait until after the trip? I'm very much worried about Mrs. Lane. And I wouldn't feel right about her being down there without somebody that I could trust. As a special favor to me, won't you reconsider? As a favor to you? Yes. Well, all right. Thank you, Gail. Well, when you come back, you can write your own reference. Are you sure that there's nothing I can do? Gail. Yes, Mr. Lane? I've forgotten all about Gus. Oh. <laughs> Will you say that he gets in Nancy's cabin? Right beside her pillow. Good. Beg pardon, sir. Are you Stephen Lane? Yes. My name's Macklin. Macklin? Why, of course, Mr. Macklin. Mrs. Lane has spoken of you often. Right. What are you doing in New York? Dr. Perez sent me. He wanted me to tell you something. It's very important. I want you to step in. Thank you. Is he hurt badly? Dead. Well, I've gotten rid of the detectives and reporters. I told them that you're too ill to see them. Thank you, Stephen. Do you think you'd better sail tomorrow after what's happened? I'm more certain than ever. Uncle Raymond's alone now. Maybe he needs me. Darling, I'll cancel our engagement for dinner tonight. We'll have supper here, alone. Just the two of us. That suits me. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Monkey. All ready for bed. Yes, Daddy. Good night, Mumsy. Good night, my precious. <laughs> Darling, tuck her in bed, will you? You bet I will. Come on, let's go. I wish you were going on the ship with us tomorrow. That goes double. I don't know what I'm going to do without you. I don't know what I'm going to do without you either. Oh, you don't. You're going to be a good little girl. That's what you're going to do. And what else? Keep my nose clean. And? Eat my spinach. That's that girl. Come on. Find it better. Hurry up. Wait, stop. What's I forgot something. What'd you forget? Oh, I know. I know. No, Lamy. No, not that old one. Well, do you know a better one? Bless Daddy, give him plenty to eat, and not spinach. And bring us back home quick. Well, you can't get back too quick for me. Now, hurry up and get in that bed. <laughs> hurry up and get in there. Come on, get in there. <laughs> 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 mm. You smell wonderful. Well, why do, do I? <laughs> oh, get back in here, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> 
Good night, honey. Good night, Get in there. Daddy. Sleep tight. Get these doors up over here. Good night. Especially all the papers from New York. This here says he was in your house two hours before he died. Right. You're lying, Juanita. Yes, I'm lying. Why don't you realize what it means, not only to you, but to your husband and to your child? But my husband urged me to come. But he doesn't know. Oh, nonsense. The past is dead. The natives have forgotten long ago. The natives never forget. All right, I'm here. I'll go back again. Have you forgotten the three nights sacrificed during the full moon? No. I'm not interested. There'll be a full moon again in three weeks. The boat for Haiti will sail before. Promise me you'll sail on her. All right, Uncle. Don't be so upset. If it'll make you happier, I'll sail on her. <laughs> That's the girl. Allez-vous en la base, sale cochon. Allez-vous en, je viendrai casser vos dans quatre jours à mademoiselle. Où vivez euh, Le monde de ma. Où est ton maman Elle est. Oui, oui. Je suis préparée pour le tour du bré. Euh, merci, mademoiselle. Merci, merci. Qu'est-ce que tu fais ici, toi, sale bête Va-t'en, va-t'en Allez-vous en Il faut pas elle n'entre plus jamais dans cette maison. What do you mean by treating Carla that way? You refuse to leave as you promised. You know that no natives except the servants are allowed into the house. He's a holy man, a priest, their leader. He's above any servant. I've known him since I was a child. Then let him remain in the hills where he belongs. If I ever find him in this house here again, I'll have him whipped. Then maybe you will have trouble next week, during the full moon. There goes the schooner we were supposed to have sailed on. There's something going on under the surface. I don't like the looks of things around here, Anna. I don't like it at all. That Macklin murder is tied in with it somewhere. What does Mrs. Lane say about it? Or the doctor? Nothing. I wish Mr. Lane was here. He will be. I've just sent him a wireless asking him to come. Oh, Anna, Anna, look what I can do. Nancy, how many times have I told you to stay with me? You leave such things alone. <laughs> Falamush, you you've asked your own business. Falamush, Falamush you've asked that. Get out of here, you whoever. Falamush, Falamush, Falamush. Don't, Anna, you 
must be more careful. Now listen, sweetheart. You run into the house like a good little girl, hmm? And Gail will be in in a minute. Will you play house with me? Yes, I'll play house with you. And I'll be your little girl. <laughs> All right, run along now. The idea, giving her knives to play with. She might have cut her foot off. That old woman following her around like she was the child's nurse, not me. Yes, Anna. I know. Mrs. Lane, excuse me. Could I talk to you? Well, I'm worried about Nancy. That woman, Ruva, has been following her around. She gave her one of those native knives to play with. My dear Gail, you're being perfectly absurd. But if anything should happen to what her... What could happen to her? Well, nothing. That is, if we'd sailed on that schooner this morning. You can leave any time you want to. As a matter of fact, when the schooner returns, Mr. Lane will be on it. What? I've sent him a wireless urging him to come. How dare you without consulting me? operator. Lunch McLaren from Augusta. What are you doing way down here? Oh, Georgia got a little too small for me. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of an island was San Christopher? Oh, nice island. Got to learn to like it, though. Same thing all the time. Same thing gets kind of tiresome all the time. Still, I got a good job. I run this boat, good eating, store bought clothes once in a while. Got a nice little girl, too. Of course, she's a monkey chaser. Monkey chaser? Yeah. What's the monkey chaser? Well, just nicknamed to get the natives down there. You see, the natives like coconuts the same as the monkeys do. So they chase the monkeys and get the coconuts. That makes some monkey chases. <laughs> <laughs> I love the girl, though. Dr. Pear is a nice man to work for. As long as it don't bother nothing, don't bother you. Say, so you, you mind taking this wheel, man? I've got some business up here with these monkey chasers. Sure, I'll Mr. Fellow, come back. Mrs. Lane is very sorry that she couldn't come to meet you. Anything wrong? No, no, nothing wrong. She'll be waiting for you at the house. Oh, fine. Here we are, gosh. Oui. Mr. Lane, I'm so glad you've come. Gail, how are you? Excuse my not meeting the boat, but I've been looking for Nancy. I can't find her. She's not with her mother or Anna. No, I can't find Anna. Why, I've seen Nancy a few hours ago. Well, she must be around here someplace. Well, there she is now. Daddy, Daddy, well, my Daddy. darling little girl, where have you been? So glad to my see you. My darling, I'm so glad to see you. I'm seeing you for a hundred years. <laughs> oh, yes, you have. It's only been two weeks and three days. Well, they seem like a hundred years. Tell me, how's Gus? Where is Gus? He's in the house. I'll go get him. All right, you get Gus. Hurry up. Mr. Lane, 
I must talk to you right away. Perhaps you'll permit me to talk to Mr. Lane first, since you were so foolish as to endanger all our lives by sending that radiogram. I must insist, Mr. Lane. Here's Gus. <laughs> well, Gus hasn't changed a bit, has he? You'll excuse us, Gail. Right. And please tell Anna not to let the child go out to the garden. Yes. This one's the late please. Lay blue, lie on the sink of my noodles. What did you mean that the radiogram endangered our lives? It had to be sent through my native operator. All the blacks on the island know that we're trying to send my niece back to the States. Well, what difference could it make to the natives whether my wife goes or stays? The sun is just setting. What is it? Drums, the radar drums. Radar drums? Blood worship, sacrifice to the black gods. You call it voodoo. What does it mean? Who knows? But this I do know. Never have the drums beat so in St. Christopher without trouble. For the natives? Nobody can listen, please. Something is happening. You ask me what, and I can only say I do not know. I merely consider this. We have five whites. Two of them are women, and one is a helpless child. And around us are 2,000 blacks. Fully three quarters of these are hill bandits, fugitives from Haiti. If you knew this danger existed, why did you allow Juanita to stay here? Juanita would not leave. Why not? I don't know. But if you love her, persuade her. Somehow take her away from here. Stephen. Hello, darling. What are you doing here when you promised not to come? I'm here to take you home. Home? I don't understand. Your uncle says there's danger here. The natives are restless. Oh, you've been listening to Uncle Raymond. He's afraid of ghosts. Of natives he's whipped and killed. There's no danger. I know the natives. Nothing's going to happen. This place is part of me, Steve. Every path of the jungle, every shadow, there's music you've never heard. For the first time in years, I'm at peace. Oh, pardon me. Where's Dr. Perez? Why, he went out that door just a moment ago. I've got to find him. What's the trouble? I went looking for Anna. Yes? I found her. Something horrible has happened. What? We've got to find Dr. Perez. <laughs> might have been out walking and fallen in, but... But what? A dozen whites have been found on the edge of this lava pit. They all had interfered in some way or other with the natives. Where's Anna, Mother? She's gone, darling. Ruby's your nurse now. Come on, get in bed. Let me hold But I want Anna. Come on, sweetie. go? On a long trip. To New York? Mm, longer than that, darling. I don't like her. Why can't you be my nurse? Well, I'd like to, sweetheart, but uh, I'm afraid I might not be much good. You see, uh, I'm just only, only a secretary. What's that? Oh, someone who takes care of things, writes letters, and 
answers the telephone. You're sort of a nurse. <laughs> well, yes, sort of. Is the schooner all set to leave? Hey, yes, sir. Of course, I ain't been on her this morning. But when I put her to bed last night, she was in perfect health. Mr. Lane and his family are sailing in an hour. All of them? Yes, we're all leaving. You go out and take Miss Hamilton's place until I want to see her. And keep your eye on the child. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, I ain't been on nursemaid before. We'll make an exception this time. Oh, exception. Uh, yes, exception. I'll tell my wife we're leaving. Good. What's happened? Can you be ready to leave in an hour? I was ready to leave the minute I got here. I'd have gone crazy in another week if you hadn't come. Still thinking about quitting when you get back to New York? I'm afraid so. You can't be serious about that. Why, who will balance Mrs. Lane's checkbook? Doesn't my broken heart mean anything to you? <laughs> Those things always blow over. Yes, and checkbooks always get balanced. That's right. Is there no other boat? No, that's the only one. Looks bad, doesn't it? Prends garde que le café pour les dames soit chaud. Excusez-moi, monsieur, la café reste là. Ah, c'est toi, fais ce que je te dis, va-t'en. Alors, vous savez, monsieur. I wonder where she can be. Miss Hamilton must probably find her. Mrs. Lane is not in the house. I've looked everywhere. That's funny. I don't understand it. She probably went out for a walk, alone, this time of night. You forget that she was brought up in this island. Do you mind if I look? Not at all. Well, uh, Nancy's alone. I'll sit with her until you find Mrs. Lane, if you wish. Thank you. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll find her. Yes, but I just don't understand it, that's all. Good night. Good night. Wait a moment. You'd be lost in five minutes if you'd go out there. She'd be back. Canadians. Oh, they're off in the hills. Look here, Doctor. There's something at the bottom of this. Something that you haven't told me. My dear fellow, what possible reason should I have for hiding anything from you? She's gone out for walks. She's done it a hundred times. You told me when I first got here that she was in danger, that I had to get her off the island. Perhaps I exaggerated. That doesn't account for Anna's death of the stolen schooner. There have been native uprisings here before. That's why we built this tower. Ah, don't let it worry you. Come on, give her a little more time. How would you like to look inside, eh? <laughs> this is the only door on the island no native has ever passed. stairs lead to the tower above. Come over here, I want to show you something. I 
see you prepared. We've been prepared for the last hundred years. Six times the blacks have tried to wipe us out. I suppose you're acquainted with a Negro superstition that seven is their lucky number. If life is so cheap down here, both black and white, why do you remain? Our family has been in the saddle in St. Christopher for the last 200 years. Many have died, but none has ever run away. I see. Well, shall we go back to the house? All right. Close the door. This way. Here we are, back in the library again. And now, if you don't mind, I think I'll go to bed. Make yourself comfortable. Good night. Good night. Gail. Gail. Oh. What time is it? Two o'clock. The drums have stopped beating. Yes. I think you better go to bed now. I'll sit up if you like. Thanks, it isn't necessary. Nothing else I can do? Thank you, no. You better get some sleep. All right. Good night. Good night. I've been walking. This late? I lost my way. What's wrong? I know that you're in trouble. I know that you're trying to fight something. But I can't help you because you're keeping me in the dark. I understand no matter what it is, but you must tell me. Please, Stephen. I'm tired. Let me go to bed. We'll talk it over in the morning. We'll talk it over now. Oh, please, Stephen. I'm taking Juanita home. But how? Where's your wireless? In there. I'm sending a message to Port-au-Prince for a boat. But my operator was killed. I'm an operator. Very well. There it is. Can you see well enough? Yes. Where's the code book? Over there. Leave the door open. I've got it, LQO. Close the door.
I got him. Good. We have no choice except to do as the doctor says. But hasn't he any idea of what will happen or how we can get away from this place? <laughs> None. Our only chance is to act natural, pretend we're not afraid, and wait. Everywhere you go, eyes watching you. No sleep. Drums beating all night long, and... and Anna, our friend, murdered. Oh, Gail, come here! Let's play hopscotch! All right. Go ahead. <laughs> King's egg, King's egg. <laughs> What is it? Where are you, Lunch? Over here. What are you hiding for? Not so loud, Mr. Lane. What's the matter? There's trouble over my mind. What kind of trouble? Gal trouble. Oh. <laughs> no, don't laugh, Mr. Lane. My gal done got mixed up with that rider, sir. You mean the voodoo? Them voodoo priests are going to kill her. Kill her? Why? One of them things. Same thing just keep me on this island, sir. What's that? Voodoo. You meet me here at 11 o'clock tonight. See for yourself. All right. Coming, Mr. Lane. Now you're going to see something.
What is it? Has anything happened? No, I was looking for Mr. Lane. Isn't he in his room? No. I thought I heard a shot. I haven't heard a thing. Must be mistaken. Better go to bed and get some sleep. Good night. Good night. Where have you been? I've been in the jungle. I just seen the voodoo ceremony. I asked you not to leave the house. What happened? I couldn't stand it any longer and I took a shot at that priest. You killed him? Knocked him cold? You've done the one thing that would save our lives. It's it, it just like I told you. Them monkey chasers can't fight without no priest. Quite right. If their priest dies, they believe the gods are angry. There's no more danger with a priest dead. Not with that one. Ah, uh, you leave us alone. I want to talk to Mr. Lane. Yes. I'll be right outside, Miss Lane. All right, Mr. You knew this all the time. Yes. I may as well tell you all of it now. Juanita's mother and father were killed by natives when she was two years old. They were trying to escape the natives in the last uprising. I saved Juanita's life and mine by killing the high priest from the window of the tower and then ended the uprising. For years, the natives feared me and were at peace. Those years, I grew careless. I trusted Juanita to a native nurse, Ruva. She taught her the Rada of the Blacks. At night, when I thought she was asleep, she was taken with native children to watch the sacrifice. She tasted blood. For years, it went on like this. She was 15 before I found it out. I immediately took her to Haiti and sent her to school in the States. Rescue love. And so, at the end of six years school and traveling, she seemed cured. Particularly when she married and had a child, I was certain that a complete physical and psychological change had taken place. And apparently, I was wrong. Why didn't you tell me all of this when I first arrived? Why wait until now? I tried to warn you. With what? With a lot of stupid evasion. I might have been able to do something. Get her off the island by force if necessary. What good is your telling me now? I had hoped it wouldn't be necessary. Do you realize what I saw tonight? Did you have to subject me to that? Do you realize that I saw my wife? Good evening, Stephen. Did you hear what happened? Yes. The high priest was killed, wasn't he? Yes. Killed. It was very foolish of you, Uncle. I thought you knew how dangerous it is to tamper with the natives. Yes, I know. I was worried. One of my guns was stolen. I just had the boy lunch in here a few moments ago. It wasn't lunch. It took a crack shot to hit him from that distance. Why are you staring at me, Stephen? You look as though you'd seen a ghost. We ought to have some sleep now, all of us. In the morning, we'll find out who did it, and then... Yes, in the morning. Good night, Uncle. Good night. Bye, Stephen.
you're coming. Where are you? I'll be right there. Darling. I'm afraid. Well, honey, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's dark. <laughs> well, how'd you like to come down to my room and go to sleep? Oh, I'd love it. Well, that's just what we'll do. Sleep right over there. Oh, goody, goody. Come back here. Come back here, you little monkey. Now, is everything all right? Yes, Daddy. Oh, no, it isn't. I'm thirsty. We'll take care of that right away. Where's Mom's Daddy? Here's your water, sweetheart. You were thirsty, Thanks. weren't you? I'll say. <laughs> now, you get to bed, monkey, and get to sleep. <laughs> Good night, darling. Good night. She's in agony. Where'd you get it? Right there. Surda. Poison? No, it's a drug the natives give the victim before the voodoo sacrifice. Bring it to my study. Come on, darling. Will she be all right, Doctor? Yes. This was meant for you. Meant for me? Yes. My goodness, I'm sick. Feel better, honey? I don't taste better. You taste pretty good to me. <laughs> Mr. Lane, 
I know it hurts, sweetheart. But I can't breathe. That settles it. We've got to get Nancy out of here. You haven't got a chance. <coughs> yes, I have. The moon's going down and it's dark outside. I'll make a break for it. If they get me, you'll hear shots. You take Nancy and go the other way. No, you're the father. You'll take her and I'll make the break. Hooray. Miss Hamilton, the baby, get home. Nancy is home. In her own room now. You can't realize what you're doing. I do realize. I owe San Christopher when my uncle dies. It will be when we find him. You kill him? Your own uncle? My poor natives. He oppressed them. There is much hatred. I must give way. This is murder. Not murder. Sacrifice. Tonight, my people demand blood for blood for their priest whom you tried to kill. If it were my own blood, my child's, I would give it. In the hills, the people are crying for death. For my uncle's death. Your death. And your. <laughs> I don't suppose there's very much chance that we'll ever get out of this, is there? So I... I might as well tell you why I wanted to quit in New York. I wouldn't have told you in a thousand years, but no. Well, I... I don't care what happens. So long as we go together. Just found the boat. 
I won't leave without Nancy. If you go back, they'll kill you. I'd rather die than leave the child. The only way to save the child is to come back when they're up in the hills. They'll leave Nancy behind. I think he's right. It seems like the only thing to do. Come on. Gone back to the hills. Now's our time to go ashore. There must be only a few guarding, Nancy. We can get her back here before they find out. Already lunch. Mr. Lane, can't I go to him? You crowded your luck enough for one day. My luck will stand it. No, you'd better stay. All right, lunch.
That's funny in our lives. It ain't funny to me. You gotta be careful about them monkey chasers. They know how to make yourself indivisible. Wait here. Oh, 